welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make eggy bread or as it's also known sweet French toast. This is quite an easy recipe and you can adapt it to how you like it. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and I'll show you how we make it so stay tuned. So to make my eggy bread I'm going to take a glass bowl here and into that I'm going to crack one medium egg. Don't forget to give your hands a quick rinse off after you've cracked your egg in. And then next into that I'm going to add some milk. And then I'm also going to add a sprinkle of ground cinnamon. So it's probably a teaspoon of cinnamon that I've just used there. Next I'm going to take a fork and give that a whisk to combine it. that's our mixture ready now so what we're going to do is take some bread and pop it into soak now I'm using a fruity bread here so it's just got some like raisins and sultanas in it just to add a little bit of extra to it so you pop it in give it a good soaking on one side and then with your fork just give it a quick flip over Let that soak on the other side. While that's soaking I'm going to pop a teaspoon of coconut oil into my frying pan and then I'm going to pop my pan on the heat. As your oil is melting what you want to do is just go around the pan and make sure it's all evenly coated with the oil and now all my coconut oil is melted I'm going to grab my eggy bread slice and pop it in to fry off and I'm going to do two slices at a time so I'm going to save my second slice now This mixture that I'm using it is enough to make four slices of egg bread if you're using quite a sort of small medium size loaf of bread and I'm just gonna let them fry up a minute so you want your eggy bread to fry up for a couple of minutes each side once your first side's done I'm just going to use a spatula and give it a flip to fry the other side off and when it's completely done I'll remove it from the pan onto my plate. So that's all my slices of eggy bread fried up now and that's what they're looking like. 
So the way that I like to serve mine, as a kid I would have it with sugar poured over the top. But I do like to drizzle over just a bit of maple syrup. That's it, so that's my eggy bread or sweet French toast made. Thank you for watching my video today on how I made eggy bread. I'm off to go enjoy that with a cup of tea for my breakfast. And if you do make this, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, what spices can you add into yours that you can think of to make it a different tree? Please do give this video a like if you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. You can click up here to subscribe and catch my latest video just over here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!